Hi guys, how are you guys doing tonight? So this is Debbie. I'm Debbie from Debbie J's Crafting Corner. And every week we get together on this live stream, just kind of to hang out and craft. And a lot of times I have other people on. Today I don't have anybody on. Okay, now I'm going to have to turn the fireworks off because it's irritating me. <laughs> so how are you guys doing tonight? And I am, of course, looking at too many things and not at what I need to be looking at. Let me just look through the chat real quick. Get out of that part. Yeah, you know me when it comes to tech. I got to play with all the things. So we got a bunch of folks in the chat right now. So we have got Miss Janine is in the house. We've got Crystal and Elizabeth Costa Rogers. Hello, Miss Elizabeth. Looking forward to doing the live stream with you tomorrow night. And we have Pam and Maureen and TR is going to be popping in and out because she has got company and she's working on a card at the same time, but she wanted to say hello. Miss Gloria Wolf is in the house. I think I got everybody, but I'm not 100% sure. So Crystal says she just made a basket using Snappy's blocks. I don't know what that is, but that's okay. <laughs> and I am, of course, looking to see. There, it did pop up. Okay, I wasn't sure if this is popping up or not. But anyhow, because I'm doing things just... I'm always doing things a little different, but anyway, so um, like we said last week, we're going to start off everything by just looking at the planner. You guys probably already saw my plan with me yesterday, my first one, so hopefully they will get better, um, but let me go ahead and show you what I've got. Where's the screen? There we go. There we go. So this is my big old happy planner. And I thought I turned that other part off. Let me fix this real quick because I don't really want that. There we go. This gives me a little bit more space. So today I added in some post-it notes that hopefully still work. Looks like most of my post-it notes kind of suck. But these could always have adhesive added to the back and be put in as stickers. So 
I'm updating as I go along what's going on. Um, to today's yesterday was Monday, so Monday yesterday I did the um, card kit of the month and a plan with me. So those are the two videos that I worked on, and then today. Okay, I put it in the wrong place. I said I was going to do that on Wednesday, but anyway. Uh, today I've got the live stream that I've got with those little stamps that I added last week. And then here is what I've got for this week. So I basically, um, I'm going to get rid of these because they're just but ugly and they don't work anyway. So I was trying to use some post-it notes to kind of just plan out what I've got planned before writing it with in, with ink and with a marker. So I added a little bit to what I did Monday. I went ahead and put in my steps. I put in this little walk that I did yesterday. And last night I made a mistake yesterday. I had decided I was going to do go all in and do the whole water thing. And I drank pretty much nothing but water yesterday and didn't drink my coffee like I usually do because I usually go overboard on the coffee. Don't do that. What happens if you deprive yourself 100% of your coffee after you are heavy duty into coffee because of all the caffeine, you'll get a headache. So I did not sleep well at all last night because of the caffeine deprived. I might deprive my body of the caffeine it was used to. So it kind of fought with me. So today I'm on like my third or fourth cup of coffee and think this is my second glass of water. So I'm not doing as good that way. But anyhow. So let me look back in the chat and see what else is going on with you guys. Donna Hurd is in the house. Welcome, Miss Donna. Uh, I think that's the only new name that I see so far. And Pam said, I spent another chunk of time working on my craft space reorg, trying to move stuff in to view, so I'll be more likely to use it. You are absolutely right, hon. And that is kind of one of the things that I'm trying to work on um, myself, too, because <clears throat> Todd has mostly gotten all of his stuff done. He did clean out a file cabinet that he's letting me use. And because I got the new printer, I'm not taking as much space up in that area <laughs> because we got rid of one of the big ones. So now I've got that little, um, I've got that one on top and I'm switching back to to chatting because I'm talking to the camera and you guys can't see what I'm doing. So anyway, I've got that new cab. I've got that new filing cabinet and um, the space is like right over to the side of me. So it is perfect. Like on the other side of another cabinet and I'm already starting to fill it up. What I'm trying to do, because I know it's going to take a lot of time because I've got so much stuff and I don't know what really want to, what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep, but I do know last last year didn't really work for me. Last year, what I planned on doing was um, kind of just, moving away from me the stuff that I knew I wouldn't use. Now there's a big difference between moving things away because you know that you won't use them, meaning you leave a lot of stuff close, and um, keeping only the things you are absolutely gonna be using on a daily basis near you. So kind of doing it a little different. I want my craft space around me to be the things that I need to use on a daily basis, which means my card stocks, at least um, a working, amount of card stocks and my stamps and my inks and you know those kind of things and trying to move the rest of the stuff away and then I can go through it over time and decide what do I want to keep what do I want to give away what is really needing to go in the trash <laughs> so you know how that one goes so looking back up to see what's going on I've got like chat on three different screens so I'm looking in different directions I just saw Gloria's note and I wanted to see what it was that she was talking about caffeine withdrawal headaches are stinky absolutely I didn't sleep well at all last night it's like I had uh, I woke up with a headache and then when I laid on my side it's like my hand went numb because my neck it's just all these all the things so anyway um what we're gonna do today is we're gonna play <laughs> I mean making so many cards I thought you know let's make something a little bit different um crystal says i went black are you able to see me now i mean i can see me on the on youtube i've got Streamyard and obs and youtube all up and i can see them all it looks like everything is running good so anyway um i'm gonna put my planner away because i did share that yes i am using it and i want you guys to use yours too and i want you to make sure to go over into our new facebook group that is 
<laughs> planning crafters. Yes, I, I changed the name yesterday. So it's planning crafters and all of our videos, mine and Elizabeth. And if any of you guys want to do some, you know, plan with me kind of videos, use hashtag, hashtag planning crafters. And that way we can get to them all and it'll be kind of fun. And it's kind of making a group on YouTube too. So I'm going to be also sharing um, screenshots of my I'm going to be sharing pictures of my my um, my layout and all, and they should already be up on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, so you guys can see them there too. So I'm trying to do uh, quite a few different little things. Hello, Miss Cordelia. I see you just popped in, honey. And Janine is back. She's eating and listening. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this guy away. And I do want you guys to let us know what all you are doing. Um, in your in your planner so that would be awesome for us so what i'm planning on working on today is um some memory decks cards have not done any in quite a while i actually have got a little a little box like a, a, a heidi swap little box to hold them in and i haven't added anything to them in like three years I mean, it was where I was doing some swaps at some at one point when I was learning a lot of the paper crafting thing, but I never did really do a whole lot with it. I think that might be something kind of fun, especially if you put, if you put your um, information on the back like you would on a regular Rolodex, and that would be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some heavyweight cardstock because I want them not to be flimsy, and I'm going to have that as 4 by 4 and I've got a few different little things that I know that I want to use. And the reason I'm starting off with a four by four, because there are a few different ways. So Pam is saying, flip it back. Okay. You guys can't hear me, can you? Or can you? I don't know. You guys tell me, can you hear me now? Or is it uh, an echo? I bet it's an echo. Okay, I'm turning it off there. You should still be able to hear me. If you're able to hear me, please let me know. Okay, Cordelia can hear me. Um, let me know, can you still hear me? And I am going to put that little ticker up because I'm not 100% sure which way. <laughs> Redeem silence, that's funny. I'm not sure which way it's working. Um, Okay, it looks like everybody can hear me, so that's good. I have the audio turned off on my OBS, and I have it turned on over in StreamYard that is pulling everything from my OBS, so hopefully everything's working there. So when you're wanting to make a memory dex card, you basically need to make it four inches wide, and that is because that's kind of the distance, the standard distance. This is a Heidi Swap memory dex punch. So this is already four inches wide, so it goes right there in between the two lines. And then when you punch it, it punches those little um, notches there. Similar to what um, Elizabeth was showing you on the on the Happy Planner punch, does the same kind of thing, but they're in this shape, the same shape that old memory, um, old Rolodex cards were. And in general, four by four is kind of the standard size. So what you do is you decorate your thing up and you punch it. And then it's going to be able to go in that little box so that if someone is wanting to look up information on you or you just want it to be pictures, whatever you want to do, um, you've got that. Now, the ones that I've done in the past, and again, I haven't done, I, I did these a few years ago just playing, had no idea what the heck I was doing, and I was just doing them as um, part of swaps. On, I don't even remember which group it was. But I was doing them as part of swaps, and it was kind of fun. Just like, okay, what do you do with it now? But what I'm thinking is that we could probably do, if you guys are interested, um, I'm going to give away at least one memory dex card to somebody in the chat tonight. Yeah, kind of like what we've been doing with the cards. <laughs> Cordelia says, two years ago, we threw away about a bazillion memory dex cards at work. So were those Rolodex cards or memory dex cards that were all decorated and pretty? I'm kind of curious. Because I had never heard of, see, I think I want to round the bottom, but I had never heard of memory dex cards and still, until I started crafting. But I did think that I would use, oh, Rolodex cards, absolutely. And they, they were 
they were basically the same thing as ex except on index cards, which you could use index cards for this and then decorate them up because they don't have to be four by four, but this is kind of a good height. So you've got something up at the top to, to play with and then you can kind of, sorry, old people. Oh my God. <laughs> You are too funny, Cordelia. So um, anyway, the way that these would work is they've actually got the spinners too. And those things are so cool. And one of these days I'll get one. I wish they had it in teal because the one that they came out with that was pink was cute, but I wanted it in teal. So anyway, but this is where um, you have it all decorated up. And then on the back, I'm thinking, add your information, like make it on a sticker so you can tear it down because I I'm not going to do it before I make the thing. You know how that is. So I think I've got a bunch of stuff that I've got just sitting here that I haven't used yet. You've, you've seen all of these panels that I did at different points over the last six months. These were ones that I did. I think these were the ones from Austin. So I think that's the wall that I did with the stamping foam. So I think I'm going to just grab out... Actually, that would be cute. And it was kind of an idea I was thinking of before. Got that. And then I've got a panel that I had started on and didn't use yet. I think that would be kind of cute. And here's this. So. Put that behind it. Yeah, I'll cut this down to the same size as the front pretty much, at least widthwise. Hello, Miss Jana. Welcome. So this die cut is from Oh gosh, who's this from? I already forgot. I, I will look that up though and leave a link down below. But it was somebody that I recently got um, some coffee things. And so it's the one that I did the coffee. It was Trinity Stamps. That's right. So this is another piece from Trinity Stamps. And I think I, I was planning on making a shaker and just never got around to it. Got started, but didn't finish. So I think what I want to do is I want to have this as the background and then still do it as a shaker and then adhere it down to my memory decks. Elizabeth's in the house, unless she wandered off. As I said hello to her a little earlier. Actually, I think I am going to go ahead and cut this down. I think this panel was just one that I made just cleaning up some stuff on my desk. You know, channeling Miss Elizabeth, right? Okay, I'm going to put your question up, Miss Cordelia, so that if Elizabeth is just hiding, then she'll see it. <laughs> so going ahead and cutting this down to about four by four. And then I can position that in the back. That'll be cute. And let's see. This is thinner tape, and I do want this to be kind of thin. Oh, Elizabeth is cooking dinner. So, Elizabeth, what's for dinner, honey? Okay, I have to move things around because i got too much stuff piled up on a drawer so that I can't actually get into it. And I thought I was actually kind of organized tonight. Okay, so Jonna says, I was happy to join you today. I usually cannot make it. And that that was why she can't usually make it. I think she's meaning that it's because she's needing to make food for peoples. Okay. Need to kind of decide where I want my 
well to be for the most shaker. And make sure that these pieces are all bunched up there. And I'm going to be using, you know, flat things for this. Ooh, you had stroganoff. Well, hon, where's mine? <laughs> okay, I want that to not... I want it to be flat on there, but this one I cut crooked. And I want it to butt up against this other piece of foam. Cordelia wants to eat at everybody else's house. <laughs> totally understandable, Miss Cordelia. Okay, so that one, that fit just fine, so you can't see it. This one up top, you can, so i got to move it a little bit. Come on. Okay. Okay, so that looks like it's pretty well butted up. And I want a bigger piece of foam tape than that. I need to make sure that that piece is filled. Okay, so I think that will work. I just need to trim a little bit off the side so you don't see it from the front. Oh, Crystal just got Spellbinder stuff. Awesomeness. I love when you can gave the house to myself. Cortell, you said you eat cereal sometimes, but not with a good attitude. Come on, honey. Okay, I need to trim that down to four inches tall because I didn't yet. Actually, it can be less than four inches tall. Because I don't want it to go over those little bits there. So let me do this. And this is because I don't really feel like measuring it. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of fake it, right? And that should be close enough. So that's going to be kind of cute. That's what I'm looking for. So I see that Monica's in the house. Let me look at talking about dinner, making stew and homemade buttermilk biscuits. Yummy. I finally got around to making, to going to the store to get milk to be able to make it. But I finally got around to making some cornbread and we've already gone through it. <laughs> and now I need to make more. Okay, that's going to be pretty. So now I just need to grab some little shaker bits. I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm kind of just losing it again. So I wound up going over to my cabinet to get these out. I've got one of these Craftmates things full of, and one of them's open, full of sequins and stuff. And apparently one of them is not closed as tight because now I got stuff all over me. Or I put stuff in there that shouldn't have gone. It's probably some of these guys. Anyway, uh, what these are for, it's kind of like a Rolodex. Although I know nobody, unless they're old like me, knows what a Rolodex is. A Rolodex is basically the way that we used to hold on to people's addresses and phone numbers and things like that. And it was more convenient than, say, an address book. Okay, I have to be really careful with these because it's going to go all over the, the place. These are some seed beads I picked up at Michael's. And they're, ba they're pretty good for copy color, but they are so tiny. These things could go definitely go all over the place. So I'm going to just mix some. And I think the last thing I did with them, I put too many in there. And then the bigger stuff. Janine says she loves her Rolodex. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I want it to be kind of a creamy copy instead of black copy. And let's put in some of this caramel color. Oops, that's a lot. Okay. And then I want to do some sequins to go along with it. So I do have some little stars that I think would be cool. And since these are flat, they should, should work well. I'm looking to see what else I've got. I do have some silver and gold. I think I'm going to just stick with that. Got a few more little stars. Flatten it all out. And of course, I forgot I do probably need to put a little bit more foam around the edges. So let me do that real quick before I make a complete mess of everything. Cordelia's hubby heated up some chili to go on our baked potatoes and then forgot it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds familiar. Todd will occasionally make, um, put some sausages in the toaster oven and forget they're there. Or what's even better is when one or both of us forgets our coffee. He, um, basically he makes an espresso for him a couple of times a day. I think it's like three, four, five, I don't know, but a few times a day. And then there are times that he makes it and then completely forgets it. I have not done that yet, Janine. Now that that's actually kind of funny. Has anyone, that's the wrong one. Has anyone called their childhood phone number to see if someone has picked it up? No, I have thought about it though, because I do know the number. I mean, don't ask me my husband's phone number now because I don't know that one. I just have it on my phone. But used to, we knew everybody's phone numbers, right? Okay, so that's a little flatter. I'm trying not to pick things up. I want it to all stay down. Okay, and then I want a little, a little bit more up on this side too. So we'll go with about that. That should probably do it. Okay. Then if it turns out that I've got too much on the side, once I get the back on, I can just trim that little, little touch off. That would be fine. So now we're going to see if I can do this without making a humongous mess all over my desk. I'm already starting to stick to the adhesive. Where's my pokey tool? It's hiding. 
No, I will use this instead. And hopefully I won't jar this stuff too much and have the little tiny beads go everywhere. And if you guys want to stick around, um, once I get this first one put together, which I may not go on to a second one tonight just because it's already six o'clock and yeah, I mean, yeah, I know I was probably talking too much of the time, but I also want to try to stay on schedule better because you guys have got a life. I mean, I know you, you're, you're happy to hang out and stuff, but I don't want to make you do that every single week. And go to hour and a half to two hours every single week when I tell you it's only going to be an hour, right? Or should I just plan it to be um, be two hours every time? <laughs> okay, so I think I want to have both of the colors showing. And so that's going to be facing up. So I'm going to put it down this way. And since this is bigger than four by four, it should fit fine and I can trim off the edges. And I found a little bead there. Okay. That's a cute little shaker, and now I can just trim off the excess. So I have to go back and see. Oh, Monica says, no life, just work these days. Yep. Now I'm going to round those corners so these match. And now everything is still pretty much white, but I don't want it to stay that way. So I'm going to do some more decorating on this piece, and then I'll look here everything down. Now that I know it all fits right, it's all good. And I have to figure out where I'm going to put these. I think I've got a couple of little containers over here somewhere. I don't want to spill those all over the place before I clean that up, though. So I think what I'm going to grab out now is my club kit and see if there's anything that will match. Now, this is the club kit from January, and you guys already saw that it is pretty much all like pinks and teals and blues and stuff. But this is a great way to use up some of that paper. So that's a scrap that I already started on. Yeah, I pretty much kept my scraps from where I made the cards. <laughs> okay. And I have not used this yet. I do have another video that I'm going to be doing this week. I think I'm going to use this one. Pam says that her phone just sits around useless unless... Just sits around unless she's going out. Okay, let's see. What do I have here that I think would be cute? So when I was cleaning this up, I kind of just threw everything together. Could do a smile. That would be cute. Also kind of wondering, do I need to do... Some more pattern paper over the front. Hmm. Okay, here's a Friends Forever, like that.
And I like the so happy. But I think I need to pull out another stamp set or something that's got coffee involved. Because these little sentiments are great and they'll go great with that. Especially since you know that I'm sending it to one of my crafty buddies, right? So friends forever is perfect. Let's see, what does this look like? I don't even think I saw that one. This one has got that, um, one of the papers in the paper pack is, um, I think is music. And this one has got music on. I don't even think I saw that one. And I've gone through all of these little bits at least three times. And my nails do not want to pick the things up. <laughs> okay, Cordelia is saying that she once said that she would never have a cell phone, never say never. I think that sounds a lot like the folks that are saying, I'll never have a scan and cut or I'll never have a foiling machine. Because we all do, right? Okay, and this is a bunch of little chipboard pieces, which is also perfect for this kind of thing. Oh, I love a little puppy. What do you guys think? Should I add the puppy to this one? <laughs> Elizabeth uses her cell like a mini laptop. Well, I'm using my, my cell phone right now, I'm using as one of my cameras and my old, old, old cell phone that I can't even, I mean, we've had the newer ones for four years, five years, something like that. So the other ones are even older, but that's what I'm using as my little mini stream deck. So I've got a little poodle also. I don't want to cover up all, of, I don't want to cover up the shaker though. Okay. Do you have a teeny weeny little envelope? Okay, let me grab another, if I can remember where I put those because I used them not too long ago with the coffee and I don't think I put them away. I've got my chocolate stuff over here that I'm not going to use yet. That's going to be coming up on a video soon. What did I do with my coffee ones? Again, I will be right back. But to keep you a little bit entertained, although it's not really all that entertaining, I'm going to give you guys some fireworks. Okay, I am back again. Anywho, I 
And I'm going to turn off that the fireworks because we don't need it, right? So I do have some little coffee things. Let's see. And I did go and get that the die for that. So if I decide I could go and do another piece on top, but I don't think I want to do that much. Okay. So this is a stamp from a Simon Says Stamp. I have no idea if it's still around. Probably not. Oh, this would be good. Coffee and Friends, the perfect blend would be good. And just cover up that the hearts because I don't really want to stamp on the acetate. So let me get all this stuff out of the way and then get out my stamp platform. Okay. And hopefully everything is flat enough so it'll work fine with that stamp. We're just, I just had the stamp and now it's gone. <sighs> I think Elizabeth stole it. Not there. Let me get that out of the way. This goes there. I swear, I just had it, and now the stamp is not here anymore. Is it under anything? No. It's not attached to that. Okay, I think I need a drink of coffee. That's what I thought, too, but it's not under the misty, Miss, uh, Miss Monica. No, it was under the stamp set. That is just too funny. Told you I need more coffee. So my life in my craft room is here. Hello, hello. So I'm going to make sure that's butted up nice and firm all the way in there. And then I'm going to stamp that around the edge there. Okay, putting more stuff up on the floor so I can actually get to my inks because I had them hover, covered up too. You guys don't do any of that, do you? Uh, I think I want to go with some red. So I'm going to go with the Cranberry Fizz kind of to take in. I think that the background kind of had a little bit of the red in there. But I want to have... I want to kind of pull them together Plus, if I have any of the pinks and stuff. Yes, it's going on there. Can't really see it. Because that stamp is a little dirty. Dirty. Okay. And now just clean off the little hearts. And then add a piece of washi tape just to make sure it doesn't get anywhere that's not supposed to. I mean, I could wipe it off of the acetate, but I have a feeling it would get onto the, the steam, and I don't really want to do that. Okay, let's see. It's close, and then of course I have this little bit right there. And move it down a little bit and add a little more ink. So we've also got Ms. Barb Krakow Krakowiak. Nuno Respir I'm seeing a bunch of names that I haven't seen before. Welcome, ladies. And now I realize that my microphone was not near my mouth. Most of you guys know I use a headset, and of course, I had the microphone part of my headset was up away from my face so I am so sorry 
because of course you couldn't really hear me. Okay, Let's see how that did. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put up there, I think. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to die cut that out of this, I think, and then adhere it down. Except, of course, it doesn't fit because mm, this was short. See, there are no mistakes, right? We just cover it up. Let me see what other pattern papers I still have out that I started using and didn't finish. Or I could just grab another piece. I think that's what I'm going to do. So this is part of that paper pack. Ooh, that would be pretty. What do you guys think? The pink? The, you like the flowers? I mean, the, the hearts? I think the hearts. Okay, that looks pretty. Let me do one more coat of the ink. Now this is probably going to look better than it would have the other way around anyway, so. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth, for taking care of that troll. Oh, Barb says I actually said her name right. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to look in the chat real quick, say hello to the folks that have dropped in that I Sorry about, sorry about that, guys. And now I have to fix my sound so it's not sounding back in my head. Is that okay? So anyway, <laughs> I accidentally hit the back button on my Chrome. So I accidentally got out of there. Sorry. So sorry about that. I'm glad I got back in there quick. So we have Nuno Resp Respirio. Probably said that one wrong. We've got Barb. We've got Brandon Legit. The Latina, the Latina, the Latin girl, sorry. <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome. If I didn't say hello to you, give me a quick shout out and say hello, and I will say hi. I don't think I missed anybody, but you never know, right? Okay, so for this one, because... I basically wound up stamping this out on a separate piece of pattern paper because I accidentally stamped that wrong. It does not look good, so I am not going to use that one. So now what I need to do is take the die from Trinity Stamps and line it up underneath my little coffee thing there and try to have it as straight as I can. And then run that through my die cutting machine. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I need to cut it down first. Ugh. And I do apologize, guys. It has been a long time since I made a memory dex card. And I'm going from memory as to what folks did when I was swapping them. <laughs> Words are hard. Yes, words are always hard. <laughs> and let me just make sure that that one was actually straight. Yep, that one's actually, it's squared on there. That is nice. So if I'm able to line this guy up squared with the edge, then I am good to go. course I'm having trouble doing that all 
That's still not squared. I think that is close enough for government work. I mean, it wouldn't matter as much except that the hearts, I want them to be pretty much straight, but if they're off a little bit, that's okay. I mean, I can always turn this so that it matches my shaker. <laughs> so I'm going to take it that my life in my craft room didn't see the, um, the title making memory decks cards. I'm just happy that you came by. I am just, you know, that's just, a, you're just a sweetheart. So I appreciate it. But I haven't made any in a long time. I've been making lots and lots and lots of cards. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different and um, make one of these guys. I mean, I did receive something from TR a quite a while back where she sent me a, basically a memory decks, a piece like this. Um, and ask for more information on the back for me to send it back. And I have not gotten around to making any memory decks cards, so I haven't sent anything back to her. Okay, let me get out my stuff to go through my Gemini. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run this through my Gemini Junior, and then we're going to see if I can get that lined up to cover up what I messed up on. Okay, so Pam is popping out. We've got... Um, not Afraid of Color is doing a live stream too, so if you have to, I understand if you want to go and pop over and say hi to her. Um, I have a tendency to kind of, I watch them all at the same time, <laughs> which also means I can't, I do too much multitasking. I don't hear everything that I want to hear, but I also want to support all these folks. So you probably have seen that sometimes I show up into Elizabeth's live stream and then I don't say anything for a while. And that's because we're eating dinner and we've got the TV going in the background, all that. Oh, that's going to be cute. What do you think, guys? I also think I figured out how to get my settings right so that I don't have the overexposure that I've been fighting with the last couple of weeks. But I think that is going to be darling. Okay. And because I don't want it to come off and I want to be able to wiggle it around a little bit, I'm going to put that on with some art glitter glue. And then I can trim off the edges. Okay, slide it over a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Except, of course, where I just tried to pull up the edge of my coffee cup. Okay. And then trim off this side. <laughs> Crafty Cat Creates. Hello, hello, hello. And you just said, Lou, you are no sweetheart. Now, I don't know why she would say such a thing, but. <laughs> okay, so this I think is going to be super cute. And I'm again doing that corner rounding thing. When was the last time you guys actually saw me use my corner rounder? It's not often. Okay, that is darling though. I'm liking it. So we've got... Don't want to cover up the cup. 
That would be good for you. So happy. And there was another sentiment I had around here somewhere. Here we go. Friends forever. That would be cute there. So I'm going to go ahead and put them down with some foam tape too. Okay, so Crafty Cat says, I'm totally kidding. I watched Lou once and got hooked. <laughs> Actually, I think this will fit over. Yeah, that'll fit back there. Okay, I am going to go ahead and remind you guys that um, we do have a Facebook group, Crafting with Debbie, over on Facebook. Because I know that there's quite a few of you guys that are not in that group with me yet. So feel free to go just decided I want to ink the edges a little bit on this guy. <laughs> of course, right after I put the tape on. But I'm thinking that that way it'll be able to show up a little bit, but I don't want to have a lot of ink there. So I'm going to grab out some of these guys that I never, ever use. I think this one is red. I need to wash them at some point because these colors... I don't know how old the ink is that's on each of those. Okay, that adds just enough red to the outside that you can see it. Because these colors, all of the papers in this card kit from Spellbinders, are they're, they're just so pretty, but they're also so, so, so light that you really can't see them. They basically blend together, even when they're not all pink or whatever. It's like the, the pinks and the greens and all, they all kind of mesh. I think I'm going to do something like that. Let me go ahead and get my, my foam back for this. And I'll put that down here in the corner. So that looks cute. And I do need to check back into the chat. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth, for adding that link there for the Crafting with Debbie group. Thank you so much. Go ahead and add yours to your group, too. Okay, so this, I think, is, is cute. Now, a lot of folks I have seen have put more stuff on their Memory decks cards. This one is kind of a first time in a long time. So it's basically going to be mounted like that. And then I'm going to put my information on the back. I think I am going to trim the bottom just a little bit, though. Partially because I didn't cover all the way to the edge on one side. It's kind of a little, just a tiny bit crooked, like I thought it was probably going to be. And I do have a little bit more room. Okay. Just try. Trim that there. And then I'm going to adhere that on right about there. And then include my information on the back. So you don't have to go kind of crazy with a ton of dimension on these guys. They can be flat and they can be more dimensional or whatever you want to do. One thing I tend to like on them, though, is as long as they're sturdy, I'm happy. But that's kind of just like with cards. If cards are too, too flimsy, if you're using just regular weight instead of heavyweight cardstock, I don't like them as much. 
And that's just because I like things that are a bit more sturdy. Okay, I think I am going to add one of these little guys, though. These also came in that card kit. And let's see. Follow your heart. Hello, I'm going to do the hello, beautiful. I think. Now I don't know where to put it. I'll have it attached to the coffee cup. That works. What do you guys think? Oh, well, thank you, Roberta. Roberta just subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much, honey. Okay, so there's that. So I know somebody had said, well, what do you do with these things when you get done? I do have a little box that I can keep it, them in. And if you want, I can go run, get that real quick so you can kind of see what it was. I don't think that they've been making these for quite a while. I, to be honest, I'm not sure how all this stuff is working these days, but does, that doesn't mean we can't have a resurgence, right? So give me just a second. I'm going to run, get that. And while you guys are waiting, I'm going to give you guys some more fireworks. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the little memory decks box that I've had for a couple of years. Uh, this one is saying something about happy planning. So this is where somebody sent something to me. And it's basically got a couple of rails here so that this would pop right in. Okay, and that's the reason that you want to make it four inches wide. So it'll fit in whatever kind of a Rolodex thing you're doing. So here's some of the ones that folks had sent me in the past and uh, without names on the back. So I don't even know who it was that did it. So these were food related for a food swap. These were 4th of July. <laughs> BB production says I've made more coffee cup themed cards that this year than even Christmas cards. Oh my God. So I did get a lot of different, I guess I think these were all like in 2018. So it's been a while and most of these were sent, all these so far were sent to me. This one, okay, so this was 2019. Um, the person did sign the back of it, said summertime, fun, two of three, June of 2019. Here's another coffee theme one. And this is a tag that somebody sent me along with theirs. Angela Fletcher. <clears throat> another one of those. This is one of the ones I made just goofing around with a die that I had gotten. And I had gotten a die for this one too. So this is a little purse that does attach at the top. So you could put your note or whatever on the insides. I need to make some more of those. But yeah, those are the only ones that I've got. And that just tells you that I got started with it and I wound up drifting over <laughs> into the world of card making. That's probably, that's the reason I stopped making a lot of these things. But there, I've got the dice to do some of these and I haven't made any since. I think the reason I made this one is because of the little fox image and my mother-in-law loves foxes. So it's a little TV with a, a foxes on TV. But that's kind of how you would store them. There's also um, a memory deck spinner. It looks like kind of like a Rolodex, except on the edges, on the, the knobs, they're like um, diamond shapes. And it's, it's, it's kind of cool looking. And if I remember, I will put down a link to those over on scrapbook.com, assuming they still have them. Um, hello, Miss Dot. <laughs> hello, Miss Dot. She says, I just had a memory deck spinner giving to, given to me. Awesome. 
Okay, so it is already 640. Do you guys want me to make another one? Because I can keep going, even though I did say that I'm going to try not to do that quite so much to you guys. But I've got another idea for another one that shouldn't take as long. Part of my problem is that I had to go back and gather things. You know what I mean? Okay, so Crafty Cat Create says she wants me to keep going. So thank you, ma'am. Um, go ahead and start cutting down another piece of heavyweight cardstock. And what I'm doing is just basically taking some scraps where I use some of my cardstock for other things. And I'm trying to use the scraps. Let me put away this or it's not going to get done. So I don't want to lose the stamp, which I will again. Oh my God. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought it ran away again. It is the Crafty Gremlins, right guys? Echo you here. So are, does that mean that you agree with me or that, or agree with someone or that you hear us here? I'm echo here. Okay. Dawn wants me to go again because she's late coming to the party. <laughs> no worries guys. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use some stickers because I never use stickers, right? And that is this. Okay, this counts as a sticker, right? So this time I did use, I used ephemera, I used die cuts. I basically wound up using different things from different places that I don't normally do. I do stamping, I do die cutting, but I very rarely use ephemera. And I very rarely, I never use a card kit. So that's what I'm basically doing this time. I'm, I'm using my card kit. I am learning and teaching myself as I go and finding other ways to use it than what it was designed for. I mean, I love those little cards that, that I, <clears throat> I love the little cards that I made that um, that video was up on Monday. Was it Monday? I don't know. I think it was Monday. So again, I am cutting this down to four by four. And you don't actually have to have the punch. And for a long time, you couldn't find these. I think at the time that I was wanting to do um, some memory decks cards, I got this after I basically stopped doing them much. And I think it was at least six months before I found one. And I found it like I think on eBay or, so eBay or something. So I don't even know if those are available anymore. For a while there, I thought that they were not going to be doing any kind of Heidi Swap stuff at all. Okay, so I'm going to use some, not going to use pink paper, I don't think. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. This is from Dollar Tree. This is a, um, these are just cute. I mean, you could do a lot of different themes here, but I think I want to do something with that little ballerina. That is just too darn cute. And probably the Dancing Queen. A lot of different pieces from this, but I think the dancing ones are going to be the ones that I'm going to put on here. So next what I want to do is I want to get some paper to go behind it. Yeah, it can do that, Dawn. Um, the whole thing is it depends. If You basically need to have a memory decks or a Rolodex or something that has those pieces to be able to figure out where to go. At one point, I took one and I just drew a piece. Yeah, I drew it on the edge and that's what I used. Um, I've also got a couple of dies because I know that they were making dies. I think they are still making them somewhat, but not a ton. Ooh, that might be nice. Let me take these guys out first and just see what it would look like without all of the advertisement warnings and stuff. <clears throat> okay. So having the grays behind it would be very pretty, I think. I think having the people would be a little bit too busy. Ooh, this would go good with the um, instruments. I think I'm going to go ahead and possibly make two. 
So that's for the instruments. Yeah, a lot of these would work, but I think I'm going to go with this page. <clears throat> and this time, I think I'm going to go all the way to the edge. So that means I'm going to go ahead and just punch this lined up on one edge. Come on. <laughs> lined up. I'm going to actually have it a little bit over that mark because that mark tells you where it's supposed to be. I'm going to have it a little bit over that. And then when I put it down, when I glue it down on there, I'm just going to make sure it lines up and then I'll trim the edges off. But one thing I did notice, if I want to use my punch, I mean my crocodile to round the edges, I kind of need to do that before I started hearing things together and just do it each layer. Because what I found is that trying to go through heavyweight cardstock and the paper doesn't always work that well. You get it too thick and then it's too hard to do. That's close. Let me remove that over a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay. And you guys know I am going to have to go back and re-watch the entire video to see what else going on in the chat. You guys have been very chatty tonight, which I love, but I can't always keep up with everything. Or maybe I just need Elizabeth to let me know tomorrow night what I missed. <laughs> so in case you didn't know, Elizabeth Costa Rogers is doing a live stream tomorrow night, and she's asked me to come on live with her. So I'm going to be over there tomorrow night. I have no idea what we're going to be making yet. Um, Elizabeth, we need to chat <laughs> just to give me a little bit of an idea. And hopefully I will be a little more organized than I am tonight, which you guys know that doesn't actually ever happen. So for this one, I want to go, I want to make sure it's the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing with this one. I do need to cut another base. So that one is ready for me to start adding some additional things to. But for this little guy, I'm going to start with Dancing Queen. And these guys from, they don't have enough, enough foam on the back. So I'm going to add some because it's just not enough. I'm not happy with it. So, you know, if I can find my foam tape. <clears throat> the gremlins are really, really bugging me today. I guess I will use some of this other foam tape. <clears throat> This is some Dollar Tree foam tape. So let me go ahead and use some of that. And I'm going to take that piece off just to make sure that everything is even. And I've had these stickers sitting over here probably for, I don't know, two months or longer and I've wanted to use them and haven't gotten around to making anything I could use them on. And I think this is a perfect way to use them. And I do like having a little bit cut a corner. So I don't want it on this side or this side. Put it over here and I am going to have it come up just to the top. I don't really want the foam to show. Okay, that works. And you can see, this is going to do the same thing with my little dress here. Replacing the foam. Of 
Crystal says she has the same stickers. Well, I actually I've got two sets <laughs> because I thought they were too cute. <laughs> and again, I didn't use them. But I will be using up most of this first one. Okay. And then that's going to go there. And then do we want, do you have some other pieces? I think I want the ballet slippers. Yeah, that'll still work. Well, bye Shiloh. And I don't think I said hello to you either, hun. So I am so sorry. But hello and bye. And you can always have us in the background when you're on your Zoom, right? Okay, I want to make sure that my little feet are staying on there good. So I'm trimming these down. Yes, I think that is going to be darling. Okay, go ahead and add these pieces on there. Okay, so there's that. Actually, I think I do need one more piece of foam underneath there. I was thinking that it would be held up enough on the end, but this section of the center does still need a little bit of foam, I think. Okay, so that looks a little better. I think that is adorable. But do we need a little gold on here to go with? I may have to add gems to my cards. <laughs> Not my cards, my memory decks cards. But I may need to add some gems anyway, so I'm going to hold off on that. But since we do have folks going in and out, do you want me to go ahead and make the next one and then do the giveaway? Or... Do we need to get started sooner? Or did I even say that right? I didn't say that right. This one's not heavy weight. Okay, I, it looks like all of these scraps are either too small or not heavyweight cardstock. So I need to get me a piece of heavyweight cardstock real quick. And do not have any over here because I put them away. Okay. That is a very good question, Don. Don is asking, do you just decorate the fronts or do you journal on the backs? Now, it's entirely up to you. The ones that I've received so far, and these were a few years ago, nobody wrote on the back of them. But the way that my brain works, I think of things as needing to be practical in some way, not just cutesy. I mean, what else are you going to do with them? 
I'm thinking that these should probably be used as kind of like the old fashioned Rolodexes where you had person's information on them. So my thought is writing on the back of them. Now, if it's already too bulky and you can't really write on them well, which I'm thinking these are, because there's so many layers and they're firm enough, I should be able to just write on there. But if I can't, I can always write on another piece of paper and then put my information on the back. So I'm thinking that I want to put my information, you know, Debbie J's Crafting Corner, Debbie Jenkins, when it was made, um, contact information, how you can get to my blog, how you can get to my website. You know, you know I, those are the same thing. Duh. Um, my YouTube channel, my groups, those kind of things, whatever information you want to share as contact information for your other, uh, for the other party. And this one's a shaker. I don't know if you saw that, John. But that's my thought on both of these. And at, when I get done today, I am going to be doing a drawing out of everybody that's in the chat to see if you, any of you guys would like to win one of these little guys that I will mail out to you. Um, that's also one reason why I was showing this. This little box here, or if you've got a spinner, which I, I need a spinner. If I'm going to start doing the Rolodex things, I kind of need the spinner. <laughs> but I've also bought some things from Dollar Tree where I was planning sometime last year to do some of these and to make a box, which I never got around to. So if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. And I'm, I'm still working on finding the time to squeeze in between other things, what other things I want to do. Because there's so many things I want to do, you know? That's the re one reason why I'm starting with my planner. If I can see where I am with all the projects that I've got due on any given week, then I can, then I can figure out, you know, what else I can add to the mix. Okay, Don. So if you guys are, are, if you guys are interested, I will add that as the next challenge over in the Crafting with Debbie Facebook group, we can do a memory deck swap. Now, what kind of theme, themes, not things, themes, do you guys want to start with though? Do you want to do Valentine's Day? Because that is what's coming up. We've got spring, we've got summer. There's so many different things that we could do. What do you guys want to start with as the first one? And if you're not already a member of the group, go ahead and um, go ahead and join over there. You do have to answer the questions in there so that I know that you're not a bot. <laughs> um, Elizabeth did go ahead and leave a link to that group over there. So if you're not already a group and would like to be involved, go ahead and join us over there. Um, we basically, we share all of our fun goodies that we're making. You guys can always ask questions. We've got some really knowledgeable crafters over in the group. And we also like to let you guys know when we're doing different kind of live streams and events and those type of things. So if you want to share that information over there, that is perfectly well as well perfectly fine as well. Words are hard, guys. I'm sorry. I keep on talking wrong. <laughs> I, my regulars know that that's kind of the norm. Oh, thank you so much, Don. We would love to have you, honey. We're also just started up a planning group because it is the first of the year and who doesn't want to try to start getting on track with some of their goals and tracking the things that they should have been tracking last year and didn't, that sort of thing. So we're starting an accountability group. Uh, it's going to be crafty. Yeah, no, planning crafters. I keep forgetting the name, Elizabeth. Anyway, we've started that group. That one is actually brand new. We just started that this week. And... We're going to be sharing our journey as we work on our planners and keeping, you know, keeping going and making sure that we're doing what we need to be doing and all the good things. You know what it is. You know what it's like. And I did my first plan with me this week. That one went up yesterday. Elizabeth did hers on Sunday. And we also did um, a live stream last week where we talked about kind of where we were wanting to get started. So if you're, that's something else that you're interested in, come ahead and join us over there. Again, it's one where you need to answer the questions in order to be entered into the group. Oh, and I just timed that perfect. Um, my little Streamlabs bot just shared the link. 
to oh actually it's where i'm planning on different things elizabeth did the one for plant the planning one of the groups i've got three groups right now one of them is a planner and paper graph buy and sell group another one is crafting with debbie and then we've got the crafty planners or the planning cra planning crafters so we've got those different groups out going on and just depends on what you're interested in you know feel free to join us these are so cool so i think i do want the base to be on that's i don't know i love that piano Ooh, oh, the piano's going on there. I'm not sure what else is going on there, but the piano's going on there. Uh, but what the bot was saying was that um, I'm starting to plan and need your feedback. So I'd love for you guys, if you're if you're interested, go ahead and complete that little survey for me. Again, it's so that I know what you guys want to see so that I can better do, I can do my channel better. I always need your feedback to know what I need to do or to give me some ideas and stuff, see what I can help you with the most. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna to need to put some foam behind the legs because otherwise, they are liable to break off in the mail or in the Rolodex um, memory decks holder. And we don't really want that, right guys? So I'm gonna cut these guys real thin and try to put it down close to the bottom. And because this paper is white, then that part's not gonna really show that much if I do go over with the foam a little bit. <laughs> well, thank you so much, BB. Okay. Yes, Crafty Cat, we are still live. <laughs> At least I think I'm alive. Todd, am I alive? <laughs> Yeah, you guys really haven't heard much from the peanut gallery over here tonight. Now I'm watching okay, Todd says he's watching football, but what he's really watching is soccer because he doesn't watch he doesn't watch American football. He used to play soccer as a kid, so he and his mom are kind of obsessed with the game. Okay, so I didn't even realize that I clicked on the wrong message at some point, but Dawn's message is still sitting up here. Yay, I'm watching all the planner fun, so I'm thinking I may start my planner up again. Yeah, planners are definitely fun, and I, but I want, my problem when I, okay, I keep saying my problem, but here's the thing. Back in 2017, that was when I started up my YouTube channel, and what it was is I gave something that a friend of mine liked and said, oh, you should do a tutorial on that. And then I never did. But what I did do is I had just gotten started with trying to do um, some planner stuff, you know, shortly after that. So my oldest videos on my channel are making things for my planner. I had gotten a planner at, actually I had my, my old, old planner was a Franklin Covey brown cover, very professional. And um, it was one that my first husband and I were doing some stuff together. And since he had passed away, I, when I picked this thing up again, I just could not use it. I, it made me cry. I just couldn't do it. Anyway, that was a long time ago. He passed away in, in, um, Oh three. So it's been quite a while. Anyway, I got a new planner. I went to Staples and it's like, okay, I just need a planner that I can use, right? And then I didn't like it. It's like, well, that's not good. And then I started researching a little online and decided, okay, I think I do still want the same kind of style, you know, the six ring. So I got one of those at Michael's. 
And I, I loved it, but I didn't, again, I couldn't find a layout that I wanted to use. So I started making my own. And then I, of course, went down the YouTube rabbit hole. Actually, I went down a few. I learned about Traveler's Notebooks. So I made, a, I made some videos using, you know, I made some videos for Traveler Notebooks, which pretty much all of those things you can, you can create for your regular planner. Yeah, I think I want this one to go down. But I think I'm going to have this one go kind of flat. So I've already taken the adhesive, the foam tape off the bag, and I'm going to just mount this one straight down. Now these are kind of done with, I forgot what the technique is called, but there's they're double layered. So they've got like a backing layer and some foam and then the same exact image on top. Okay, so that I think is going to work. And then, of course, I need to blot off all the excess that I added to the top. And that one needs some kind of a sentiment. Da, 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 da. And let's see if there's anything in my ephemera stash I want to try to use for this. This is all the stuff that, these are the things that I got in the kit of the month from Spellbinders. Oh, come on. I thought I saw something I wanted to look at. There's a Be My Valentine. <laughs> that, I think, is appropriate. You lift me up because music does that, right, guys? So just because they're Valentine sentiments doesn't mean that there's not another way that you can use them, right? And because this doesn't have any pink, this blue one works perfectly. So yeah, I think that's going to work well. And I'm basically just using a lot of foam tape today. Yes. So Dawn is saying that she made a few inserts for her plan in her planner in the traveler notebook style. Yeah, those I think they called them signatures. And yeah, I made a bunch of those. I've done um, traveler notebook covers. Um, there are other there are videos on my channel if you guys are interested in that sort of thing. They go back all the way to 2019, I think. But I do have a, a playlist over there for planners. So you can always check that out and see if it's anything you're interested in. And just remember, it was a couple of years ago, and I think my, my video skills, I think, have gotten a little bit better since then. I mean, my crafting skills have definitely changed and my style and everything, but I'm pretty sure that my crafting skills have, have improved and <laughs> my, my um, video skills. Sorry, I am a little bit distracted by the guy that is trying to... don't even know what that friggin' thing is. Okay, thank you, Miss Elizabeth. I think that's why I couldn't grab it. You were grabbing it at the same time. So we're, um, Elizabeth is on here a lot of the time to help me keep track of all these stupid trolls that keep popping up. And we've been seeing that quite a bit on our live streams lately. Both of us have seen those on both of our streams. And I don't know why they keep trying to get us to click on a link that we're never going to click on. Okay. There we go. I had the foam in the wrong spot. So that looks pretty cool, I think. Except for the corner that is already popping up because I didn't put enough adhesive down or didn't put any towards the edge. So that is going to be all fixed. So now I have got three cute little memdex cards and i've used up some of my ephemera and i've used up some of my stickers because i do tell you guys all the time to dive into your stash and use what you got right i mean i love all the new things and i love playing with all the new things but i also have a ton of old stuff that i haven't touched and as I go through my craft room and 
okay, I don't have a cat craft room. I have a craft area. I'm right now I have this desk is about seven feet long. I've got a couple of cabinets. I've got storage in another room. I've got basically things in too many areas, but I've got now got, got well, my husband's been destashing some of his, his stuff and he's giving me some more of his old storage space. So I'm going to have some room to put some of my stuff, <laughs> but I also want to de-stash a bit and use up what I've got and know where I've got everything. So I'm kind of on a reorganization kick too, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of time because I'm going to go a little bit at a time. My, my goal right now, last year, what I tried to do was move, um, move like the bulk things that I wasn't going to use on a regular basis to another room. And that's my storage room. Great. Except a lot of the stuff that stayed in this area with me, I don't use regularly. And then I still have to go back there to get the stuff. So somebody said that they're bored. I'm going to have to look back up again in a second to see what it was that you were talking about. Um, so my goal this time is to, as I'm using things to put them away, give them a home in my general area. Um, one thing that's helping with that is my husband gave me his old file cabinet, which had old, old papers and receipts from, I don't know, like years and years ago. So we got rid of pretty much all of that stuff. And now I've got a four drawer file cabinet there. Then I've got another two drawer that I'm going to be using that had other stuff in it. And then he cleaned out a couple more drawers. So I've got about like six empty drawers that I'm going to be able to use for stuff. So that's going to be my starting point is filling those up and then going on. So anyway, it'll work. BB Production Studios is overhauling her design studio. Awesomeness. Well, you are going to, since you said that you just joined us over in our Facebook group and my Facebook group, Crafting with Debbie, you're going to have to share when you're doing your live streams and stuff and your videos so that we can help support you too. Plus, you're going to give us all your good information, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the wheel. You guys love the wheel. So that we can do our giveaway. Let me pull up the screen. And then fix the sound again. Okay, I think that worked. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up our live stream and start collecting comments. So we've got 12 different folks that have been chatting up a storm. And I'm going to go ahead and do a drawing for one of these cute cards. Let's see who we've got. So BB Productions, you get the first one. So tell me, which one of these do you want? My life in my craft room, not everybody, but we do have a few folks that do regular live streams and some of us do impromptu. <laughs> it does happen. Um, Elizabeth does at least a couple of them a week. I think she's got several of them. She's got two live streams tomorrow. The one that I'm going to be on with her uh, with on with her on is at five o'clock tomorrow night over on her channel. So BB Productions wants this one and that's what I was going to use that other planner for. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to use for what. And of course I can't find the paper I was going to write this on. Okay. So BB productions. And I'm going back to the way that I did before for the giveaways. There is a link down in the description for a Google form. And that's the way that I need you to send me your information so that I, I'm able to send you out your thing. That's even if you've already, if I've already got your address, still do that because I know information changes and sometimes we forget to tell each other what's changed. So BB Productions gets the piano. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do all three of these. And then we're going to do a, <clears throat> excuse me, then we're going to do a swap, a memory deck swap 
over in my my group so i would get that one set up so the cutoff for that would be i'm going to let you guys sign up for a little bit longer on that one maybe sign up till at least another week or two and then we'll have like three or four weeks to get those mailed out okay so i'm going to pick another winner And second one is going to be Crafty Cat. Awesome. So this one is off the table. So which of these would you like, Miss Crafty Cat? And while I'm waiting for your answer, I'll go ahead and draw for the third winner. That person is not winning because guess what? They were a troll. I mean, if you were not a troll and you were here, let me know. Uh, Crafty Cat can't see. Let me bring this one up to full screen so you can see what it was. We've got the coffee and then we've got the ballerina. And I do not see the person who, I can't pronounce the Ukrainian name or whatever it is, that was our, our troll. So I'm going to draw again for the third one. And Crafty Cat, let me know which of those two, which of these two that you'd like. So we've got the third one coming up. And it's my life in my craft room. Okay, so I am looking back up this. Okay, Crafty Cat wants coffee. And my life in my craft room gets the ballerina. Okay, so let me see. I had also added, I think, I added a command, but I don't remember for sure what it is. Let me look that one up real quick. Okay, so that's what it is. Okay, so I added a um, I added a command. This is one of the things through Streamlabs. It should give you a link that I need you to. Yes, it did. If you are a winner in tonight's live stream, please complete this form so that we can send out your prize. So ladies, that's the link. The link is over in the chat. So go ahead and click on that and fill out the form and um, send me your email and mailing address. And I will get these mailed out to you in the next couple of days. So I do want to say thanks to everybody. I am going to, um, when I finish getting everything reset up, I am going to have a link over right over here. <laughs> I'm going to have a link over here so that you'll be able to see Oh, thank you so much, Don. Um, in case you are interested in any of the other live streams that we are doing, like I said, Elizabeth does a live stream every week. Um, I believe there are some other folks in here that do one as well. Let me just go ahead and roll, scroll up. Linda does a, Linda Tamai, to man creates does another live stream crystals creations has a channel as well so there's a lot of different people over here that are youtubers and crafty youtubers and a lot of them are part of our new crafty planners or planning crafters group uh, so you can check us out over there as well as well as on my facebook group crafting with debbie and elizabeth's um, elizabeth's group which is chat with sassy's crafty friends uh, we would love for you we would love to have you guys come and hang out with us. And we are trying to keep each other on track for the new year. We're going to make 2020 our year. Right, guys? And let me go back to my other page. Where am I at? There I am. <laughs> 
So thank you guys for dropping in and hanging out with me today as I made some more. These actually turned out cuter than the ones I did a few years ago. So I'm very pleased with these. These are ones that I'm very happy to be able to mail out. I'm, I'm proud of them instead of being kind of embarrassed. Have you ever made something and think, I don't want to give it to anybody because it's not good enough? There's also those times when we don't want to give it away because... <laughs> It's too cute. We don't want to give it away. And I kind of feel that way about all three of these. But I will be mailing these out to you guys, ladies. Just make sure to fill out that form and get me all of your information. And I, well, thank you, Miss Peg. So Peg Shelter, just subscribe to my channel. Welcome, Peg. And we are happy to have you here, honey. And I want to do something else. I'm also playing with what's called a stream deck, and this is a, a freebie that's on a separate phone. So I am kind of playing with all the different things. So, so do want to remind everybody to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. There's the little thingy on the screen. There we go. I got to do it again. There we go. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my uploads or live streams. I do a live stream every week on Tuesday night at 530 and they tend to run a little long, but it's you guys. You guys like hanging out with me and I keep going because of all of you. Um, also, I want to thank all of the folks that have already subscribed today to my live stream. I really, really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Here are some of the no, new folks that, this is actually showing the two people that um, subscribed tonight. Awesome. Which means it cleared all the ones that had subscribed previous. But anyway. Okay, Pam wants to see all three of these. So let me go ahead and show them again. So here is, without the fireworks, here is my little piano. Uh, let's see. Okay, now that I hold it up in front of the light, you can actually see the writing a little bit because it was a little bit washed out. So there's that one. The first one I made was this, this little shaker, and that is a coffee theme. And then we've got this little ballerina, and some of these are just you know, just stickers, just stickers from the Dollar Tree of all places. I mean, they have had a lot of cool things. What I'm not happy about is it's not really the Dollar Tree anymore. It's the dollar and a quarter store. <laughs> but I may have to go back soon to see what all they've got. These were some really cute ones that I liked. So anyhow, thank you guys for dropping in. Um, any kind of questions that you have like that, uh, there, are, there are a few of you guys that have express some interest in some of the techie stuff that I've been playing with. And if it's something that you're interested in, or if you see something that I'm doing that you'd like to learn how, please send me a message. Let me know. You can email me at debbie j at debbie j's crafting corner or if you're a member of our groups you can go ahead and message me over there as well. I need to make up a list and start working on kind of a I don't know, a bunch of different videos or courses or classes or something like that to go along with it to kind of help uh, my fellow YouTubers not have to go through all of the videos that I enjoy watching, but I do watch a lot of YouTube and I've been learning a lot of stuff to see how to do it. Yes. Okay. Uh, one thing I have not mentioned yet, if you are a YouTuber and you are interested in being live on my channel, please let me know. I am, I am going to start scheduling some more folks coming on, you know, coming on real shortly. Um, Elizabeth is already going to be signed up for uh, at least once a month. And we're going to be doing planner things, but we might decide to add on an extra person if there's another crafty planner, planning crafter that wants to come on with us for that. So let me know. Um, Probably the easiest way is just contact me on Facebook or email me at Debbie J at Debbie J's Crafting Corner. And then we can see what kind of information um, I want to check out your channel, that kind of thing. But go ahead and go ahead and sign up and we shall see. I'm, I'd love to have a bunch of you guys come on with me and give you guys some more exposure. Give my channel more exposure from your folks because you know you're going to bring them over, right? <laughs> anyway, you guys have a wonderful... Linda wants to do a collab. Awesome. So you want to be on my channel as a live, like what I've been doing on Tuesdays, right, Miss Linda? Because you haven't, we haven't really chatted about that yet. So um, 
send me a Facebook message. Remind me so that I will send you some information to be able to sign up. So you guys have a wonderful night. I'm going to go ahead and let you go because I kind of need to go eat. Um, we usually have dinner since the times <laughs> change. It's usually, I guess, 7 o'clock. So he's probably already eaten. And my stomach's starting to yell at me a little bit. So you guys have a wonderful night. And I will chat with you soon. Bye now. Now if I can remember how to get up. <laughs>